so annoying when you buy a bunch of things and you never really use them. So annoying. It literally makes you wanna scream. I'm gonna help you out with that today because I'm bringing you 10 must-haves for newborns. Everything you need to know from leaving the hospital up until about three months or so is in this list, so stay tuned. channel i'm sheree i'm so happy that you're here and i hope that you stay and i hope that you subscribe and follow and like sage agrees he wants you to come back too so please do that he just decided that he wants to try out this growling thing that he's doing never heard him do it before and now he wants to do it perfect timing sage thank you <laughs> number 10 are receiving blankets now these are a staple. You're gonna get so much use out of them. This is not something that you're gonna buy and then never ever use again. You're gonna use them for diaper changes. You're gonna use them for placing them on visitors or family members when they come over over their clothes so that your baby's not too exposed to any irritants or anything that could be on them. Um, you can also use them for, I've used them for covering up during breastfeeding. I put it, if he's ever laying in the bed with me, I put one down just in case. I mean, these you're gonna use for so much, you're gonna get so much use out of them. And it doesn't really matter what brand particularly, I mean, it's, they do the same thing. Whether you get an inexpensive brand or one that's really high end, they do the same thing. They all work perfectly fine. So receiving blankets, definitely a must have. Also keep in mind that you do get free receiving blankets when you leave the hospital. Number nine are newborn mittens. Now, these I use a lot because when the baby first leaves the hospital or even when they first are born, their nails are really long and super sharp and super duper soft. So you, they don't recommend that you clip them immediately. They say that you should file them with a baby filer. Now, that's all fine and dandy. For myself, I was nervous and really scared about clipping their nails so early because I hadn't before and for me, what worked best is yes, filing them, but the newborn mittens were amazing for me. Because the babies are always scratching their face, they don't really have control of their hands yet, so they are all in their face, and their nails are so sharp that they end up scratching their eyes, scratching their face, scratching their parts, so the mittens are great to use just to protect their hands and keep them from scratching themselves. And we got a lot of use out of the newborn mittens. Now, if you're somebody that's comfortable with filing your baby's nails or clipping them down, then that's fine too. I know for, for me personally, me being a new mom and it being my first son, I really needed the mittens to help me keep his nails um, trimmed and also to keep them from him scratching his face. Number eight, it goes without saying, a stroller. You're definitely gonna need one. Now, this is something that you're gonna have to do a lot of research on because there are so many different options of strollers that you can choose from. For me, I have to take a lot of different factors into consideration when searching out the stroller that we went with. I had to think about what was lightweight to get us up our five floor, fifth floor walk up because sometimes I'll have to carry the stroller up myself. What's gonna be most cost efficient? What's gonna be um, comfortable for the baby? What makes sense for my lifestyle? And we ended up going with the City Jogger, uh, ba sorry, Baby Jogger City GT, which is like a jogging stroller. It came with a car seat, it's a whole unit. It comes with a stroller, a car seat, and it kind of grows with baby. So that for us worked really, really well. We're really happy with it. And we also have a Stokey as well, which was gifted to us. Um, which we love, which is stylish, it's trendy, it's cute, it's bright, it's fun. Um, so we have two different ones that we take for different occasions. The Stokey, however, did not have a car seat. It, it involved getting an adapter, which to me felt like a lot of extra steps, so I just thought, let's just get the car seat stroller combo and go with that. Number seven is a bouncer. <laughs> so the bouncer is super important because it got me so much time to get to shower. It's basically like a little chair for your baby. Now, when we brought him home and he was a newborn, we had to like swaddle him and put him in a bunch of blankets so that he could actually fit in it without sliding too much. But he grew into it and we found it super useful from when he left the hospital. We still use it now. It's just a little storage for him. You know, you can place it anywhere. It's easy to move around the house. It bounces on its own. It has music attached. It plays nature sounds. There's so many different brands you can choose from. The one we went with was the Ingenuity, which we love. It was also gifted to us from our baby sh at our baby shower. Um, great gift, and we use it a lot. So when I have to go shower, I'll put it in the bathroom, and I'll be able to keep an eye on baby. 
And if I'm in the kitchen and I have to be cooking and I'm gonna be in there for a little while, I put this, the bouncer in the kitchen with me with baby in it so that I can keep an eye on him. It's just really good for mobility around the house and keeping him nearby without having to actually keep the baby on you. So the bouncer is a really great necessity to must have. Six are baby bottles. Now, this is something that you're gonna need regardless, whether or not you plan to breastfeed or you're gonna do formula feed. So make sure that you have enough. The brand is all based on your taste and what you prefer, but personally, I really liked the Dr. Brown's uh, bottle assortment that we got. We got some that are four ounces, we got some that are eight ounces, but the variety pack came with the little brushes to clean the nipples and the vents. It came with pacifiers in it. We were really happy with that purchase and we still use the Dr. Brown's bottles a lot. Um, we, are strict, we are exclusively breastfeeding, but we do find a lot of use for those bottles as well, which I believe you will too. That's gonna be something that you're gonna use regardless, so definitely, definitely get uh, bottles early on for your newborn. Number five is a necessity. You're definitely gonna need a safety kit for your babies. There's also a lot of different brands. We went with the safety kit. I believe the brand is called Safety. Anyway, there are all kinds of different ones you can get. Uh, they usually come with a comb, a hairbrush, which is a softer uh, brush for baby, just more gentle on their scalp. It comes with nail clippers, it comes with a baby emery board, which are just like a regular emery board, but much softer and smaller granules so that they're milder and gentler on your baby's nails. They also come with thermometers so that you can test your baby's temperature. Uh, they come with a bunch of different things that you'll use. Um, a little suction for extracting their boogers, all kinds of stuff. So that's definitely staple. We keep one in the house, we keep another one in his diaper bag. Definitely gonna need one of those. I think the probable Probably the most used item in that bag for us is definitely the nail clippers now. But uh, at any given moment, you'll definitely need the thermometer. We use the comb a lot, we use the hairbrush. So definitely invest in one of those if you haven't already. Number four, I have to put with an asterisk somewhere over here <laughs> because it's regarding breastfeeding, which is a whole other world of information. So we're not gonna get too deep into that right now. I'm gonna have another video for that coming up soon. So stay tuned for the breastfeeding options. There's probably gonna be more than one because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to breastfeeding. But this item here is for a breast pump. Now, you don't know whether or not you're gonna be able to breast pump, and that sounds really bad, but I think it's important early on to decide whether or not you're gonna breastfeed. If you are somebody that's deciding that you're not gonna breastfeed, you don't need a pump. That's a no-brainer, right? But if you decide that you would like to breastfeed your baby, you're definitely gonna need a pump. However, sometimes for uh, whatever reason, breastfeeding is not an option for some moms. So I would say if you're gonna purchase a breast pump, just wait for that latch to happen because sometimes it takes a little longer than usual or sometimes it doesn't happen. And so a breast pump is something, it's, it's very expensive. It's a huge investment if you end up not using it. So I would say definitely get a good one when you have established a breastfeeding relationship, so to speak. So once you get that going and you know that you're gonna breastfeed, I would definitely invest in a good breast pump. And like I said, I'm gonna have a video for that coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. We're not gonna go too deep, too deep into it, but a breast pump is a necessity if you are gonna be breastfeeding and you plan on breastfeeding your baby. Now, even if you don't plan on breastfeeding, you will need a pump if you want to extract the milk to give your baby that uh, nourishment and you wanna give him the breast milk but you don't wanna breastfeed, you're still gonna need a breast pump. So I would highly recommend getting that and breastfeeding or pumping to feed your baby. Also, nine times out of 10, your insurance company can uh, comp you a breast pump so that you don't have to pay for it. That's usually the case. Check with your insurance company to see if that's an option for you before you go out and spend the money on a, uh, on a pump because they are big ticket items. And like I said, I would hate for you to waste the money in getting one when A, you can get one for free or B, you um, can get one or you end up not breastfeeding, so item on the list is a sleeper and the brand that we got is the baby snug the baby delight snuggle nest which is basically a little comfy little cushion bed where you place the baby we used it on the couch a lot uh, just to place him to lay him flat and comfortably it plays music and it um, it's just like a little cocoon you place your baby in there's lots of different brands that make the same thing there's the docketot there is the swaddle me there's 
the the one that we had which is the baby delight snuggle nest and all of them work really really great we got mega use out of this when sage was a newborn he used it a lot now that he's a little bit bigger he's kind of outgrown it he can almost roll over off to the side which is scary uh, but when he was a newborn we used it a lot and it was something that we were really really happy to have uh, around the time so i would highly suggest getting some sort of sleeper for storing your baby um when you want to place them somewhere comfortable but you don't you can't particularly hold on to them is that a wardrobe change no it's the itsy ritzy car seat cover also can be worn as a poncho this is a must have let me tell you why because when your new infant is leaving the hospital or leaving any leaving your home for any reason you don't want them to be vulnerable to all the debris flying around in the air we live in new york city so there's all kinds of junk flying around it's just permanently dusty here it feels like so anytime we left to go get baby checkups or for any reason we always had this show covering the car seat so that sage was protected from not too much glare of the sun from not getting New York dust in his lungs or what have you. It was great because we were able to keep him covered, especially when you have a little tiny baby. People want to come and pet him. I said pet, not pet. People want to come and touch your baby. And you know, they you never know what is on their hands, what comes off their breath, you just never know. So this was great to cover him up, cover the car seat, and it's really cute. I would also use it as a cover up for breastfeeding when I first started because I wasn't really sure whether it was appropriate to just whip your tit out in public. So I was just like, mm, okay, I'm gonna cover up. But it would almost look like part of my outfit. See, it's just really cute and chic. Oh, I love it. Breastfeeding cover, car seat cover, protection from strangers trying to touch your baby. Win, win, win. And last on the list, super staple, is a car seat. You can't leave the hospital without it, so you have to have one. This is a non-negotiable. What car seat you choose, totally up to you. What brand you go with, your call. However, you have to have it. You have to have one when you leave, and the best if you have one that connects to your stroller system, but sometimes that's not the case. I find it most helpful and less steps and less fussy when you can just have it all in one, but that's your decision, and just make sure that you have a car seat for your baby. Bottom line, it's that simple. There are some that are more comfortable than others. Of course, you can't really test them out when they're a newborn because you can't take your newborn into the car seat when they're in your belly. Y yeah, you just there's no way to test out the comfort early on. So if you want to take my word for it, which I suggest because I've done lots of research on this stroller system and this um, car seat, and the one that we have is the City Go um by baby jogger and that one connects with the stroller it grows with baby it is great and he loves it it's comfortable it adjusts it's very easy to use it's as lightweight as a stroller or a car seat will be they're pretty heavy especially when your baby's growing they just get heavier that's just not something you can really fix but i am a big fan of the car seat that we have and it's easy to tote around the city because we're you know jumping in cabs or taxis or what have you and it helps to have a car seat that you know is not too fussy and it's easy to use so we really really love our car seat so definitely gonna need one of those before you uh go to the hospital or before you leave the hospital so grab you one of those all right folks and that is my top 10 list of must-haves for your newborn please subscribe like comment share Leave any thoughts you have about the list. If you think something was crap or not a necessity, tell me. Let me know. Speak your mind. I would love to converse about it because this is what the channel is about. Talking about car seats and things. Please <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, like, comment, share. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.